48-year-old Canadian sports announcer Mauro Ranallo joined WWE in late 2015, and after debuting on the blue brand as the lead commentator, he was quickly dubbed the voice of SmackDown. But after 16 months with the company, he called it quits with WWE, with Tom Phillips promptly taking his place and Ronaldo deleting any mentions of WWE from his social media page. It didn't take long before wrestling fans and the media began to speculate on his abrupt exit from the company. However, even after Ronaldo admitted on Newsweek his departure had nothing to do with JBL, rumours quickly began to swell that backstage hazing and bullying was the root cause of Ronaldo's exit. Many pointed out to a March 13th episode of the WWE Network show, Bring It to the Table, in which JBL scolded an absent Ronaldo on air. One night later, Ronaldo missed his first episode of SmackDown Live and never returned. The aftermath turned ugly as fans began to spread the hashtag FireJBL on Twitter and chanted the phrase in unison at WWE Live events. JBL's involvement in the rumours were further escalated upon the release of former WWE announcer Justin Roberts' memoir, Best Seat in the House, which brought back to life stories from over a decade of hazing, including one involving a stolen passport that was linked to JBL. JBL would respond to the allegations of bullying on Newsweek stating, Admittedly, I took part in locker room pranks that existed within the industry years ago. WWE addressed my behaviour and I responded accordingly, yet my past is being brought up because of recent unfounded rumours. I apologise if anything I said playing the bad guy on a TV show was misconstrued. Recently however, NoDQ.com reported during an interview with Ariel Helwani with Ronaldo finally explaining why he left Smackdown Live last year. I was on the road every week. You add MMA and boxing and kickboxing to it, the road travel destroyed me. So rumours and all this other stuff, what happened? Honestly, and Ariel, you know how honest I've been in this thing. I had a breakdown in Chicago O'Hare Airport on my way to Pittsburgh to do Smackdown Live. And again, Frank Shamrock, God bless him. Bass Rutten man, guys who fought each other are my biggest supporters. But I had to phone them and I said, I'm done. I cannot do this anymore. It's going to kill me, and I thought I was done with the entire company. As much as there's two sides to every story, the actual truth from me was my mental health wasn't going to allow me to maintain the schedule much longer. He has denied that quote-unquote bullying from JBL had anything to do with his departure from SmackDown Live. Ronaldo, who has been an advocate for mental health and outspoken of his own personal battle with bipolar disorder, nicknaming himself the Bipolar Rock and Roller, returned to WWE in June of last year as lead commentator for NXT, signing a multi-year deal. Seems like despite fingers were solely pointed to JBL being the main cause of his departure, he was telling the truth. He didn't have anything to do with Ronaldo leaving. What do you guys think? Did you believe JBL was innocent all this time? Let us know in the comments down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.